Hey everybody, Eric here with Spartan Auto Works. So, this is a little PSA. I think we've talked about stuff like this before on the channel. Um, you know, if you need a locksmith, I highly recommend you vet who you call. Um, I know especially around my market, there's a lot of uh, scammer sites. And there's not... Uh, not saying these people aren't capable, but it's kind of a lot, of, a lot of bait and switch. So today I had a call from a lady that uh, went out to her car. The key wouldn't turn. It's a GM truck. And uh, the key wouldn't turn. And so she called me and said that she thinks it needs to be replaced. Or the ignition needs to be replaced. She wasn't exactly sure, but I explained to her most likely not the ignition. Most likely all we got to do is cut a key. I'll get over there pull the ignition out, cut a key, and get a fresh key for her, and everything be good. And I told her I couldn't come to do it today. If she wanted me to do it today, it was going to be extremely expensive because I already had a full schedule for the evening. I could come tomorrow morning, and we get knocked out. So she was okay with it. I said I'd be over there between 7.30 and 8 in the morning. We'll, you know, make the key and everything be good. So I've was looking forward to an early night for a change. And it seems like every night, it's like 11, 30, 12 o'clock before I get home, one o'clock before I get in bed. I was just looking forward to an early night. Of course, tonight, made home early, got dinner, got a shower, and she calls me. And I didn't answer, and I got a text to call her immediately when, as soon as I got it. So I was like, you know what, okay, I'll, I'll bite, I'll call. So, I had seriously mis-underquoted, apparently, because I'm not going to say what I charge, but it's I feel very fair price to come out there, pull ignition, and cut a key, you know, or pick the lock, whatever. I mean, same thing. I feel like I charge a very fair price. Well, apparently she called somebody else. That did the bait and switch, you know, be super cheap. And they came out, they told her that they had to drill out the ignition and it would be 500 bucks. So they drilled out the ignition. And then after that, they wanted 700 more dollars to put another ignition in it with another key. So she got worried and just paid to have the ignition drilled out and they left the car like that. So she was worried that something was going to happen to the car because it had no ignition and wanted me to come over and do it right away. So when she called me and explained to me what happened, I was still hoping to go there tomorrow morning. But apparently, I, I, I don't know, I guess for me, I don't know why somebody would be okay with paying $500. If somebody tells you they're going to come out and make you a key for $100 or $90, whatever it was that she was quoted, and then they get there and say, we got to drill out the ignition and then basically hold your ransom because now the ignition's gone. Like, I, I don't even, I don't understand it. Like, I think it'd be better on their part just to say, I'm going to charge you a thousand dollars to make this key versus damaging the, the, the customer's vehicle. So anyway, long story short, there's a lot of scrupulous people in this business, and you got to remember you are basically handing them the keys to your most valuable assets, whether your house or your car, some of your most expensive assets. So be very careful who you choose to let work on your car, especially when it comes to the security aspect of it. And I, I just, I guess I'm kind of amazed. I mean, I felt bad, so I didn't... I charge for my regular rate, even though I went over there in the middle of the night, because it's like midnight now, or a little after midnight. But uh, you got to be careful who you let work on your car, especially when it comes to the keys, because, man, there's just uh, so many people are willing to bait and switch and tell you it's going to be 50 bucks, 100 bucks, and then they get there, and then the price skyrockets. And then, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, I feel like if I was a customer, I'd say, hold up, we got a problem. Like, I'm not doing this. This is not what you quoted. But I'm sure, I, I don't know. I wasn't there. 
I've never come across an ignition I had to drill out on a GM truck. So I just, uh, I'm kind of flabbergasted, but I think what makes me more angry is this lady gave $500 over to this guy that, in my opinion, clearly ripped her off and was just trying to leverage for more money. Because even, even replacing the ignition, I mean, either I'm too cheap or it's just these people are okay with highway robbery. I mean, I believe in charging a customer a fair amount for what I do, but man, like $500 to drill it out and another like $700 to put ignition in it. I'm in the wrong business, I guess, because I'm charging too little, but let this be a warning. Be very careful who you let work on your car. <sighs> when you, when it comes to locksmiths, do the research, you know, uh, there's a couple around here that have some really fancy websites that uh, are just brokers. And you never know who you're getting, even though the website says there's only uh, a couple employees. So be very careful. Do your research. And uh, if, it, if something seems fishy, I would uh, probably stop everything right there before you just hand over your keys and your cash because... You know, you got to think about this, like he's making a key for that car. Let's say he just did, made the key legitimately. If you're, if you're going with a, a scammer locksmith, now he has a physical key to your car. What's to say he's not going to come take it. So be very, very careful and with that. I'm still going to try to get in bed early tonight. So be safe out there.